Hey guys, it's Jake Zuma and I'm back with another another video. <laughs> um, what I'm going to be showing you today is the websites I use to get really good games but for really low prices. So if you open up your Internet Explorer, the first website that I use is g2play.net. And if I press home, here we go. Once it loads up, so today's deal is 55% off Dragon Age 2. Um, I mean, all, all these are on offer at the moment. Max Payne 3, it's got 60% off, £16.16. .16. Great British Pound, Star Wars Your Republic, the new Dirt Showdown, that's got 55% off, £14.55, I mean that's great. Um, Crisis 2, £11. Battlefield 3, £14. Call of Duty 3, Modern Warfare 3, whatever, £15. Dead Island, £14. I mean these are really good prices, I mean if you go on Steam or whatever you use, I mean you're going to be paying like 40 50 quid. I mean, let's just have a look at, you know. Modern Warfare 3 on there, on Steam. Modern Warfare. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 there, it's £40. Which is quite a lot. As on here, it's £14. I mean, I, I didn't buy it off this website, but I'll show you the website that I bought it off. I mean, so that's just one website that I use. Um, it tell you if they can be activated on Steam as well, because some games can't be activated on Steam. Like Battlefield 3, I thought it were a Steam game, but it's actually not. It's an Origin game, or Oregon game, whatever you, however you want to pronounce it. Um, the second one that I use is Green Man Gaming. I mean, these have some really cool offers sometimes. Um, you can just navigate through them, or you can just go to Hot Deals. And this will show you them. This will show you the latest deals. What there is on. Or you can go to Bargain Bucket. This will also show you hot deals. Well, bargains even. I mean, th 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 these websites are legit. I won't send you somewhere where, you know, they do anything illegal or anything. I mean, these, these websites are actually legit. I mean, I bought Saints Row only the third last week. I think it was like ten pound the third, the new one. Um, the third website that I use is Gamersgate. Uh, I'm not. I don't really use this one this much because it's not really that good. But you can still check it out. Um, I mean, these have some really nice deals. Sometimes you've got games or offers. Yeah, we'll go to offers a bit. That's what we want to see. Offers. There's a lot on here. Just Cause Two, Battlefield Three, thirty three percent off. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of games on here that you can check them out on your own um, in your own time. And the last one that I use is Buy Games. It's a CD key house. I mean, this is awesome. This is where I got my Modern Warfare free and my Battlefield free. I mean, amazing website. It cost me thirteen pound for both games, which it's there. Um, they've got Juice X on there, which is nine pound ninety nine, which is awesome. I mean, if you just click that there, there you go. Battlefield Three. It's a Russian language. It's Rus It's in Russian, but it's, it shows you how to change it to English. And I play it in English, and it's it's a it works perfectly fine as as normal. Same as Modern Warfare Three. It works perfectly fine. I've got on my Steam here. Uh, Battlefield Three and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three, and they both work perfect. So. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these these websites at all. And when you click it, it'll actually tell you if you need Steam or whatever. Like it says there, no, there's no Steam picture on there, so that means it's not a Steam game, it's an EA game. Which, it's an Origin game, that's what you'll be downloading if you download that. But if you go to Modern Warfare 3, it says there, look, Steam. That means it's, you know, it's a Steam game, so you can activate it on Steam. But with Modern Warfare 3, because it's a Russian game, you actually have to activate it with a VPN. Which is like so you 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 access a Russian like internet sort of thing. 
um, internet IP address sort of thing. I mean, these are just some websites I use. I mean, they're you know some really good games on here for really low prices. So if you're looking to pick up some really good games, then yeah, these are definitely the websites that you should use. Um, and yeah, thanks again for watching.